guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms. Check this out, man. New air oil-filled heater. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that I'm hanging out in my new studio, and you'll know I put in a diesel heater uh, at the beginning of winter. It's working pretty darn good. The problem is it's a little bit noisy, even though the main unit is outside. If I'm trying to film, sometimes you can hear that blower going off inside the shop, or inside the studio here. So I decided that instead of just using that, I'd pick up one of these. This is going to be a small radiant heater that'll heat this room up perfectly. And I think what I'm going to do pretty much going forward is use the diesel heater to maintain the heat level. And then when I'm up here hanging out, editing videos or whatnot and don't want to hear it or filming and don't want to hear it, well, this thing here will be warmed up and it'll keep that room temperature pretty much set up. I'm going to go ahead and pop it out of the box here. It is the AH. 450B. It's rated for 120 volts, which is what I've got up here. 12.5 amps, and it's just, just used with standard 120 volts. Um, it's, it's to be used on the floor. I don't know. I don't know what where else you would use it. Hang it from the ceiling, maybe, but don't do that. Now I know it has a low and a high. In my case, low is probably where I'd be running it most of the time, and that's going to draw about 900 watts um, from your system. So not too too bad. I'm going to lower this down to the floor. We'll get it out. I'll put it up on the table here and we'll take a look. All right, well, here it is out of the box. You can see there's not a whole lot to it. Um, it does come with remote temperature control on and off. And it does have some nice rolly feet. That's the only thing you're going to be assembling. And it was nice of them to do this. It just has wing screws, wing nuts. So we don't have to have any tools to do this. I will lean it over and go ahead and install that. And then we'll take a look at the rest of this. You can see there's bolts that stick through. So not, not much to this at all. I like this. You can hear the oil that's inside of it when you slosh it around like that. But the front here has some nice place to wind up our cord around here if we want to. And then we have our control panel here. I'll have to peel off the original sticker, but you can see the lighting here. We have a mode. We have power. We have temperature up and down. We have mode, and we have um, timer. So it will run for a few hours and turn off if you'd like it to. If I lean it like this, you can see through it. I'll get it out of the way here. Hopefully you can see the gap between the heating fins. And it's not a very big unit. It does look maybe 18 inches. So it's not going to take up a ton of room. It does have some cautions on here. Risk of shock, don't open, makes sense. Uh, this heater includes an overheat protection system that shuts off if it overheats due to abnormal conditions. This occurs, turn the heater off and unplug it until the heater has cooled completely before restarting. Makes good sense. High temperatures do not uh, keep electric cords, drapery, or other furnishings within three feet of this. So it does want you to give it a good barrier around it. My, uh, I've used a few of these over the years. I don't recall ever feeling that this was so hot that you couldn't touch it. It just, it's a radiant heat. Uh, not gonna be boiling or so hot that you know you brush up against it. But there's always a risk of fire if something goes wrong. And that's probably why they're giving you those buffers. Let's see what else it says here. That's about it. Yep, that's about it. 1500 watts maximum power usage. On high, that's the case. On low, that is not the case. I'm going to be operating in low mode um, here. It says place it on a firm level surface, three feet away from everything. We'll turn it on. Temperature setting is between 65 and 85. So again, you're not talking about scalding. At 85, you should be fine. Okay, uh, timer settings, you can set the timer two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, or ten hours in two hour intervals. That's kind of the quick start guide. Uh, we've got some uh, warranty information here, and then the full manual is here as well. Let's see what we got here. AH450B, looks like we're looking at uh, 16 pages of uh, English as far as that goes. Safety features, it has automatic shutdown if there's anything detected that's wrong. On high, this thing is 1,500 watts. That's quite a bit. I don't know if I, uh, if I feel comfortable with as long a run as I have from the house, but you could run this off of a, a solar generator pretty, pretty easily at 1,500 watts. Medium, it is 900 watts. Eco, it alternates between high and low. I'm going to be operating at medium speed here, uh, or medium power, just to, just to take the chill out of the air when I'm up here doing stuff. So, Pretty cool. Well, I'll go ahead and plug it in. I'll get the camera closer in, and that'll pretty much wrap up the video. Let's do it. Yeah, there's not much to see here. I mean, you just turn it on. 85 is the maximum it'll go to. I've got it on low. 
and it's going to take a good while for it to warm up and that's something I think that's important for people to realize. I will move this cord out of the way here once I'm done filming. But that's pretty much that's pretty much all she wrote. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks to New Air for sending this my way. It is exactly what the shop needed or the studio needed, I should say. And I'll leave a link to where you can get one yourself. Take care.